I got these glass cups from my local thrift store. However, you could always get them at Dollar Tree. I'm using three different colored acrylic paints. The first one is Light Mocha and then Cameo Pink and then Burnt Umber. And I got all three of those paints from Walmart. So just start applying some of that paint inside of those glasses. Just start painting them. This does usually require about three coats. You want to just allow each coat to completely dry before moving on and then just allow those all to completely dry. Now once those were dry, I'm just going to grab my first one. This is just the round one and I'm just going to trace it around some cardboard. Now you could also use poster paper. Go ahead and just cut that tracing right out. I then am going to be using some of these ping pong balls that I got from Dollar Tree. Just going to hot glue that right into the center of the cardboard. And then I picked up some of this lightweight spackle from Home Depot. And then I'm just going to fill up my piping bag. These are disposable piping bags that I actually got from Dollar Tree. So fill that up. Make sure that the spackle is close to the bottom. Give the top a twist. And then just start applying that right on top of the cardboard and that ping pong ball. So that ping pong ball acts as a filler, so you don't have to use as much spackle. Then I'm going to be making some sprinkles. So I just grabbed this package of rubber bands from Dollar Tree. I'm using the red rubber bands, and I just start cutting those into small little pieces. And then go ahead and add those sprinkles right on top of the faux whipped cream. And then I grabbed these fake cherries from Hobby Lobby. Just grabbing a spatula to put the whipped cream on top of that mug. And I just did the same thing to the Sunday cup. Again, just traced it out on some cardboard, cut that cardboard right out. And since this is a larger surface, I had some of these foam balls that I got from Hobby Lobby. You want to just cut those right down the middle so that now you have a half piece. Go ahead and hot glue that foam to the cardboard. Add some more spackle to your piping bag. And then again, just start adding that all around, just making sure you're covering the cardboard and the foam. And again, that foam ball acts as a filler just so I don't have to use as much spackle. Add some little sprinkles, put that cherry on top, and also add a paper straw. I also got that from Dollar Tree. And give the spackle about eight hours to dry and it will dry hard. There you go, guys. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.